Eustace Conway is one of the original cast members on the Mountain Men's first season scene. On the History Channel. From the very first episode dating back to 2011, there's no question Eustace Conway is the real deal when it comes to living a Mountain Men lifestyle. Nestled deep in the Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina, Eustace has successfully turned a 1,000-acre piece of heaven into a natural preserve teaching primitive outdoor survival skills he calls Turtle Island Preserve. Even Eustace Conway would admit the recent enormous success of Turtle Island Preservative is attributed to the fame he's gained since becoming a reality TV star on the Mountain Men show. Thousands of fans have flocked to Conway's side over the past four seasons hoping they might get a personal invitation living and working alongside Eustace because of Conway's popular mountain man's lifestyle in this day and age also came the authorities deeming his way of living was unsafe for the general public. Eustace Conway learned a great deal about the modern world since becoming a reality TV star and his battle preserving his mountain man way of living off the land. The number one rule is it still takes a lot of money and a high net worth, especially with 1,000 acres of land to live in this modern day and age. Because of all the publicity and still a main character on the Mountain Men show, Turtle Island Preserve has become a must-visit destination when visiting the Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina. Several workshops and programs keep a steady stream of visitors visiting Turtle Island Preserve every single day. In a way, it's almost become a Disneyland-type attraction learning primitive survival skills. Of Turtle Island Preserve now a major tourist destination, Eustace Conway's net worth has skyrocketed in recent years. Eustace Conway has a net worth of at least $2 million as his 1,000 acres of wooded paradise becomes more valuable with each passing day. You could offer Conway 10 times that amount or $20 million for Turtle Island Preserve, and he probably still wouldn't sell. Some things in life are simply not for sale at any price.